October 21st, 2016, and the internet is falling apart in front of our eyes. Across the globe, millions of users are staring at blank screens, error messages, and spinning loading icons. Twitter is down, Netflix is down, Reddit, CNN, BBC, Airbnb, Shopify, Spotify, Xbox. In New York City, a young woman tries to check her Twitter feed. Instead, she's met with an error message. Why is this happening? Behind this chaos is a 20-year-old college student named Paris Jaw. A self-taught coder and avid Minecraft player, Paris has just unleashed the largest cyber attack in history. His creation, the Mirai botnet, has turned hundreds of thousands of innocent devices into weapons, flooding websites with so much traffic that they collapse under the pressure. But how did a young gamer from New Jersey become the most wanted hacker on the planet? And how did he create so much pandemonium? It all began in the quiet suburbs of Fanwood, New Jersey, where a young boy named Paris Jaw spent most of his time in his bedroom glued to a computer screen. His passion? Minecraft. But not just playing the game, Paris loved modifying it. At 16, he started experimenting with botnets, networks of computers that could be controlled without their user's knowledge. At first, it was just a hobby. Paris would write simple scripts to automate tasks like scanning the internet for vulnerable devices. He wasn't thinking about causing harm, he was just curious about how things worked. His start came with creating a small botnet to take down Minecraft servers. It was a harmless prank at first. Paris would flood a server with traffic, causing it to crash. But as he delved deeper into the world of botnets, he began to realize their potential. In 2015, Paris Jaw arrived at Rutgers University, but he wasn't there just to learn. He was there to create. Along with his friends Josiah White and Dalton Norman, Paris began working on a project that would soon become one of the most infamous pieces of malware in history, the Mirai botnet. The idea for Mirai came from Paris's fascination with the Internet of Things. He noticed that many IoT devices like smart cameras, routers, and even baby monitors were incredibly insecure. Most of them were protected by default passwords that users never changed. Paris realized that these devices could easily be hacked and turned into zombies part of a larger network of compromised machines. He began selling access to Mirai on the dark web, offering to hackers who wanted to launch their own attacks. The demand was overwhelming. Within months, Mirai had become one of the most powerful botnets in existence. The first major attack came in September of 2016. Mirai was used to take down the website of cybersecurity journalist Brian Krebs. His site was hit with a staggering 620 gigabits of traffic per second, the largest DDoS attack ever recorded at the time. But this was just the beginning. In October of 2016, they launched another attack. This time, they targeted OVH, a French web hosting company. The attack peaked at 1.1 terabits per second, shattering the previous record set by the Krebs attack. Mirai wasn't just a tool for taking down Minecraft servers anymore. It was now a weapon capable of breaking the internet. And Paris was about to prove it. October 21st, 2016, and the internet just broke. It started early in the morning. Users across the globe began experiencing issues accessing major websites. Behind this chaos was the Mirai botnet. Paris Jaw and his team had launched a massive DDoS attack on DIN, a company that provides domain name services for major websites. Hundreds of thousands of IoT devices, smart cameras, routers, and even baby monitors had been infected with Mirai and turned into weapons. These devices bombarded DIN servers with traffic, overwhelming them and causing the websites they support to go offline. For Paris, it was a moment of triumph. He had created something powerful, something that could disrupt the entire internet. But it was also a moment of reckoning. 
The attack had just put him in the crosshairs of law enforcement. It was only a matter of time before they caught up to him. As the attacks continued, law enforcement agencies around the world scrambled to identify the culprits. The FBI in particular was determined to bring them to justice. The breakthrough came in late 2016, when cybersecurity researchers and law enforcement began piecing together clues from the botnet's code and its operational patterns. Mirai's source code had been leaked online in October 2016, allowing experts to analyze it in detail. Hidden within the code were subtle hints about its origins, digital fingerprints that pointed to its creators. In January of 2017, the FBI moved in. Armed with a search warrant, agents raided Paris' home in Fanwood, New Jersey. Inside, they found a treasure trove of evidence. Computers, hard drives, and detailed notes documenting the creation and operation of Mirai. Fast forward a year or so later, Paris was charged with creating and operating the Mirai botnet. In court, he pled guilty, admitting to his role in the attacks. But in a surprising twist, Paris struck a deal with prosecutors. In exchange for cooperation with authorities, he received a lenient sentence. Six months of house arrest, 2,500 hours of community service, and a $127,000 fine. Even after Paris' arrest, the Mirai botnet continued to wreak havoc. Back in October of 2016, the Mirai botnet code had been leaked, but that wasn't the actual truth. Paris had made a fateful decision. He posted Mirai's source code online for anyone to use. The move was both a boast and a curse. On one hand, it cemented Mirai's place in history as one of the most powerful botnets ever created. On the other hand, it unleashed a wave of copycat attacks that continue to this day. Within weeks of the code being released, hackers around the world began creating their own versions of Mirai. One of the most infamous examples was the Reaper botnet, also known as IO Troop. Reaper took Mirai's concept and made it infinitely stronger, infecting over a million devices. Another notable example was the Satori botnet, a Mirai variant that emerged in late 2017. This botnet actively exploited a critical vulnerability in Huawei routers and infected over 280,000 devices. Satori's largest attacks include a December 2017 attack against Altis Portugal, disrupting internet services for the telecom's customers, targeted assaults on Minecraft gaming servers, and disruptions to Steam's gaming infrastructure. For the cybersecurity community, Mirai was a wake-up call. It exposed the vulnerabilities of the IoT and prompted calls for stricter security standards. But for Paris, it was a reminder of the power and the danger of his creation. The internet may have survived the Mirai botnet, but it will never be the same. <laughs>